If you live in the east or midwest part of the United States, chances are you're familiar with the sight of those bushy-tailed gray squirrels that seem to inhabit trees everywhere. For as much as you are around them, how much do you really know about those little gray squirrels? Most people regard them as common pests that steal the seed from our bird feeders, or as road hazards we encounter while driving. The sight of a squirrel is so common, most of us pay little attention to their daily presence. Eastern gray squirrels are small mammals in the rodent order that average around 18 ounces in weight and 18 inches in length. As you can see here, the gray squirrel's coloring helps it blend into its habitat. The eastern gray squirrel was named in the 1700s after being first observed in North Carolina. The Latin name reflects this, Cyrus Carolinus. The native range of eastern gray squirrels is most of the eastern and midwestern part of the United States and some southern parts of Canada. Gray squirrels are very adaptive and thrive in many different environments. You'll find them in forest woodlands, rural countrysides, and urban areas and cities. They can be spotted in city and state parks or in your backyard. Gray squirrels are a hardy species and have a diverse diet that varies by season. Seeds, fruit, nuts, acorns, tree bark, and even some types of tree fungi are all part of their diet. Eastern gray squirrels are scatter hoarders, meaning they gather food and then hide it in caches for later recovery. Grays hide food in tree cavities or can bury it. Sometimes months later, when food is scarce, like in the winter, they retrieve the hidden food and eat it. Gray squirrels are very good at remembering all their hiding places. Eastern gray squirrels live high up in deciduous hardwoods, usually close to a water supply. They prefer hollowed out tree cavities to make their nest, but when one cannot be found, they will build a nest of leaves, sticks, and bark, called a dray. Sometimes they will build several of these drays and hide food in them. These drays are usually temporary until the gray can find a nice tree cavity to raise babies in. In the winter, when the leaves are all off the trees, Drays can easily be spotted high up in the forks of trees. Gray squirrels breed twice a year, December to February and May to June. The gestation period is about 44 days. The first litter is born in February to March and the second in June to July. The young are weaned at seven weeks and leave the nest after 10 weeks. So what do you know about the eastern gray squirrels now? Their native range is the eastern and midwestern parts of the United States and southern Canada, but they can now be found in some western states. Gray squirrels can adapt to many different types of environment. You'll find grays in forests, rural countrysides, and even cities. They have a very diverse diet. Eastern gray squirrels eat seeds, acorns, nuts, even tree bark and some tree fungi. Gray squirrels live high up in hollow tree cavities or they build temporary nests called drays. Eastern squirrels mate twice a year, December to February and May through June. Now the next time you are out for a walk in your neighborhood, a park, or the woods, you'll know a little more about the world around you.